Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Elisa Lamore and I hope you enjoy my outfit of the day. So I have some very exciting news. I have been showcased in the uh, online plus size magazine called Scorch. I'm going to leave all the information in the down bar below. And I'm on page 54 in the table of the contents. Thank you, Jessica Kane, for recognizing me. I'm going to leave you her information and YouTube channel in the down bar below. But it's very excited, and I really appreciate everyone that's followed me. We're almost to 500 people. Can you believe that? We have come a long way, all of us. I hope many more of you join the Elisa Lamore channel and that we can just really have fun and explore fashion together. So now let me show you the true outfit of the day. So today's video is going to be a little different from what you've seen so far because this outfit is very much for a corporate work situation. So this is if you work in, you know, for like marketing or in any sort of industry where you meet clients or there's just a dress code. But you can still dress like you. You don't have to dress in all black. You don't have to dress boring. And you can add touches of you while still fitting into the company's aesthetic or dress code. So in general, a classic pinup look or classic face is always acceptable. So this time I rolled my hair and I find this when, let's say you have to be at work for like 8.30 or 9 o'clock and you're like, I don't have time to do my hair or and or I have time to do my makeup, like both, and I'm not waking up early. If you're in that situation, then I suggest that you use hair rollers. If you really make a difference, you just roll your hair back into them and by the time you're done putting on your makeup and getting dressed, your hair is done. You just finger comb it out and you're out the door. So that is suggestion number one if you still want to have a whole look going on, but you don't want to give up your sleep for it. The other thing is that you can add different elements of accessories and jewelry and print that still fit into the company aesthetic, but are still used. So, for example, I'm going to be wearing, or I wear, these crystal skull Areas. Now, what I like about them is that from a distance, they just look like a basic hanging stud. But when you get close up, you see that it's a skull. But it's very, um, it's not the mirror because it is a crystal skull. But it's, it's not so much a heavy earring, a big focus. So if you have stricter guidelines, it's a way to kind of circumnavigate that. Also, I am wearing a brighter lip, and I think you really can get away with red at the workplace, but they do require a little bit of upkeep. So this is from Wet n Wild. This is Sugar Plum Fairy, and it's the Mega Last. So it's a demi matte finish, and I really love the Wet n Wild lipsticks, and they're only like a dollar ninety nine or two ninety nine, something that most people on a budget can afford, and they're really good. I'm also wearing this ring from Noir. It's an enamel ring. And the reason why I chose this is because it's black. It is kind of a chunkier bauble, but it's a little bit more conservative in the scheme of huge jewelry. So you can still add, if you like glitz and glam, or if you like really big jewelry, or if you like things a little bit more edgy, this is a way in a corporate environment that you can uh, still be you. So for the top half of my outfit, I'm wearing a navy blazer, and it has these white buttons. And this I got from Ross, and seriously, it was on sale for $3. And it is a three-quarter length sleeve, and it's got a chevron pattern um, in the woven into the fabric. This is a leopard print um, undershirt or tank that is from Torrid, and it is sleeveless, but in an office environment, I would recommend not really going like a tank top sleeveless look. Uh, a shell is a little bit different, but for a tank, I'm not going to show you, but for a tank, I think that's not really appropriate. So 
wear a little jacket that's three quarter length sleeve, and you probably need to wear it anyway because the air is always blasting. And here is a close up of the buttons. They're just a simple white shell button. Although, you know, it'd be really nice if you found a cheaper blazer to go to somewhere like Michael's, Joanne's, a hobby shop and get some like maybe gold buttons or nicer buttons just to add a bit more luxurious um, aesthetics to your blazer. And then this is the uh, leopard tank top from Torrid. It has these like cute little flaps on it. And um, yeah, just a bit of your own, add a bit of your own spiciness to your outfit. So I am wearing navy slacks on the bottom. These are from Lane Bryant. And these slacks tend to go on sale um, often enough where you can get a good deal that you should get from work. For work, a good quality pair of slacks will last you a long time and will go with many different outfits. So it's a navy blazer, a leopard tank, and navy slacks again, and some brown wedges, which I will show you. So these are the wedges that I'm wearing. They are from Target. They are the Massimo brand, and um, they are similar in look to Dolce Vita. And I really like these because they go with so many outfits. They're a little bit of a heel, and they're neutral, yet they're interesting. So I do recommend something like this. Um, but I know that not everybody is allowed to wear an open toe shoe or even a wedge. So cute brown flats with maybe some jewels on top or leather braiding, yeah, leather braiding or um, flowers or something that you can add some interest to uh, your outfit would be really good. So that's what I recommend for shoe wise.